definitely, <laughs> definitely a gold medal winner of this meeting with five time appearances. Well, thank you, thank you very much for that. I don't need a gold medal. I would be so happy if you use this international standard report to the UAE. That would be a, a good prize for me. But, uh, but uh, thanks, and I promise this is my last presentation, and so that would be quick. And, and in fact, it's a, it's a presentation I'm going to deliver, but this time I will got the privilege to, to talk all of you on behalf of four organizations. So it's a, it's a big responsibility, and I'm so glad I got colleagues here that will support my presentation as well. I'm very pleased to bring this presentation to you today because for a long time we talk about Revis elimination. We all know that Revis is feasible, Revis elimination is feasible, and we need to actually do it. However, we did not have a plan. There was not a global strategy. So how do you really want to achieve a global goal without having a, a global plan? So that was a very clear request by the international community. And now I'm very pleased to bring this presentation because we should all be proud because this is a product that everybody contributed that now we got a global strategy. But how this thing start? To know where we are, where, where we are, I think it's very important to look a little bit in the past. I don't really want to go too far. I want to bring you to 2015, which uh, OIE, WHO, FAO, GARC, and many others organized a global conference. How many of you were in Geneva in 2015? Can you raise your hands? So there was quite a few people here. So this is, these people are responsible for what I'm going to, to present there. That global conference on rabies, of course, was not the first global conference on rabies. However, it was a conference that we gave a different approach. We did not want to talk about science. We wanted to use science. And what we brought was people with real life experience on rabies to demonstrate that rabies elimination is feasible. And we want to hear from the people that actually made it. And we brought, we wanted to, to show the case and we wanted to learn from what they have done, but also for the mistake and spread that message. One of the biggest, or there was probably three points out of this conference. It was only two days conference with around 300 participants, chief veterinary officer, physicians, so there was scientists, experts around the world. So it was a, a good crowd. And one of the outcome of the conference is that we are ready to, to have a global target. And the participants agree that rabies elimination should be achieved by 2030. And if we wanted to do it, we have to start working now at that time. Out of that conference, we produced this global framework. It, I think uh, Terence or Andre showed the, glo the, the global framework this morning, where we tried to have in just one page, very comprehensive information about what should be the activities need to be in place to eliminate rabies. And I put the link yesterday. I, let's see if, it, if it's work. It did work this morning. Again, I, I leave you the link there, but if you Google global framework for rabies elimination, that what will appear. This is purely an output of that conference. So we identify five different pillars. We know any global any national strategy. I invite you to, to, to look at this, uh, this global framework. If you are planning to redesign or to review your, your national strategy, we know there should be five pillars. We need to understand the sociocultural context of our country. We need to have good technical input from our experts. We need to be well organized. We need to have political will. And overall, we need to have resources as well. All together, we believe of the expert, believe that will be the, the good ingredients to really eliminate rabies by 2030. <coughs> and after the discussion, at the very last stage of the of the conference there was a big discussion with donors investors and said well we we hear what you're saying it's true that we cannot live in a modern society with rabies nobody can should die for a disease that can easily be prevented with a kind of simple vaccines we know we know the science how this thing can happen and they say yeah but you need to have a business plan 
that was the challenge. You need to build a, bus a business plan. And to me, that was probably the first time I hear about business plan. To me, that was more marketing orientated Google trade. But a business plan basically means identify action and cost and identify what are the expecting outcome for this call. So we took the challenge and we presented that to from the OI side. We presented that to the General Assembly in 2016. And member countries endorsed the conclusion of the conference and they pass a resolution and request the OI to harmonize action and provide adaptable guidance for countries and regional rabies elimination strategy. So basically we gain the political commitment at the international level to work towards rabies elimination. After the conference, we probably all hear about the, the tripartite. We work with a colleague from FAO, WHO, GARC closely, but we say, well, we really need to be united. It's not enough to talk. We really need to be together and work as a entity, and work in a collaborative manner to get this product out. We need to have a global strategy, but we need to be united. And we create a collaboration that we call ourselves United Against Rabies, just to clearly demonstrate that we are actually all in the same page and all aiming at the same goal. We were very lucky that international business company were interested to support us and they provide a good uh, business consultant to guide us and to provide technical support on how to build this plan. Last year, during the uh, World Rabies Day, 28th of September, DIPA was very much engaged in promoting this launch. We finally have the plan and we launch globally this strategy. So we can say that since September, there is a global strategy. And just for, for your information, there is when it's come to animal disease, we only got three global strategies. One is foot and mouth disease, peste de petit ruminant, PPR, and rabies. So that's to give you an idea of the profile that rabies is actually having in the veterinary profession and equally is applies to, to human health care. So, but how did we build this business plan of this global strategy? It has been a very interesting journey, which it was not easy, but big challenge and big learning experience. We, we knew that a lot of activities has been ongoing since many years. So we did not want to cr create a wheel, again, find the wheel. We wanted to build in what was done, in the experience from the field. So it was very much bottom up approach. However, we also realized that we've been doing the same things for many, many years. We were discussing this morning about, yeah, we have to change this status quo. We need to do things in different way if we really want to achieve our goal. And also we took responsibility. During that global conference, the, the participants say, international organization need to be responsible and you need to take the lead because we can catalyze the global chain. So we recognize this privilege, but also this responsibility. What we wanted to create is a platform where people can share ideas, best practice, and provide guidelines, like we were explaining to you during the last couple of days. We wanted to explain standard guidelines, tools, and the one Terry and Andre presented this morning. But also we wanted to make sure that the responsibility relies or stay where it should be, which is in the countries. We are not here to solve the problem. And I always say something which is a little bit provocative. Rabies is your problem in your country. It's not my problem in my country. Well, it will be my problem in my country if I will be there. But it's actually countries need to be the center and we need to be responsible for what we are doing. International organization, NGOs, donors, investors, we are here to help and to support, but who should make decision is the country. And one of our goal is to help you to mobilize resources. We wanted to mobilize money to support your activities. And one of the activities we are planning is a massive uh, communication campaign to make sure that everybody hear about what we are fighting against. We are very proud to say that for first time in history, we are really united to leverage existing knowledge, tools, and technology, but we want to do that in a new way. So it's a new era, and I think we are in the right time, the right momentum to do that. 
it's a big challenge. And unfortunately, 20, 2030 is almost tomorrow. So we cannot uh, have a low start. We need to start quickly and strongly. But also, eliminating rabies worldwide is, 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 is kind of a, a big, big challenge. And we thought we need to do it in different phases. So we got phase one, which is what we are actually doing right now, which is a starting, which will last from 2018 to 2020. Then the second phase will be just to scale up the effort. And the final time from 20, 26 to, to, to 30, that will be the idea to just to completely eliminate and reach this goal of zero human death by, by 2030. <clears throat> The plan seemed to be, we tried to be comprehensive, but not very complex neither. We wanted to simplify as much as possible. And we identified three main objectives. In each of the three phases, we identified three main objectives. The objective ones, the aim was to reduce human risk and rabies. So to do that, we need to effectively use the vaccines, the medicine, the tools, and the technologies are already available. What we want is to improve the awareness and education we want to increase the access to healthcare and medicine and vaccines. And of course, we need to improve dogs vaccination. Objective two would be the, the idea to provide guidance and generate data. We want to generate, innovate, and measure the impact. So it's not only to generate impact, we want to measure as well. And to do that, we need to have effective policies, like the, the standard guidelines we were discussing uh, this morning and yesterday. And also we want to ensure that data are available so decision maker can actually make informed decision. So data are there to inform the process. Data are not there just for the sake of gathering data. The third objective would be to engage stakeholders. We all know about the, the, the one health approach and the intersectoral approach, but we need really need to then to be engaged because we need to sustain, sustain this commitment. This is an effort that is only until 2030, but need to be sustainable <laughs> in time. So we want to actually demonstrate that the impact of our activities, and we want to demonstrate that working together under one collaboration is actually feasible and possible. To give you a, a quick overlook of how the strategy uh, looks like, I brought uh, the expecting outcome 1.2 which is uh, related to rabies prevention through increase of effective dog vaccination. So in each of the objectives, we got activities that will correspond to phase, phase one. For instance, in this uh, expecting outcome, what we are planning to do is to use the tools to create the standard operation procedure to improve dog's vaccination. We want to organize regional workshop for coordination to train the best practice and to share lesson learned. We want to establish a biological bank and to increase access to affordable dogs rabies vaccines. Support effective use of monitoring and surveillance data to validate vaccination coverage and also to promote innovate approach to enhance dog vaccination coverage. What we are expecting after this, uh, these activities is a coherent and standardized evidence-based tool and a strategy for effective dog vaccination. We are trying to strengthen vitalize and support regional network. And I think this is a good example of what we are aiming at. This is what we want to do. A network like Mereb needs to be strength and need to be reactivated. We want to improve availability and access to dogs vaccine bank. We were discussing how important it is to have the vac high quality vaccine ready available to be used in the field. And we were discussing yesterday the, the value of having a vaccine bank. So that's is very much embedded in the global strategy. Local and regional global reporting structure need to be established to facilitate data collection and sharing. So this is a quick example of how the strategy are applying. Each of the activity is linked to a cost and have more details explanation of what we are aiming at. The cost. A business plan without putting figure will not be a business plan. So the global strategy, we cost in something like $50 million for the full strategy. That is for the first phase, I must say. 
But if you look at the amount of money we are spending in biological in our countries, I'm sure in this room or countries spend much more than this money. So for phase, phase one, we are expecting to have a, a 16.5 million. And if you can see the distribution of the activities, the majority of the, of the money will go to support national plan preparation and capacity building. We are not costing field operation. What we are costing is how to facilitate the field operation, how to train people, how to, to inform people to conduct an effective dogs vaccination. And also if you look at down here, 28% of the money will go to try to advocate for support, increase the political will. And also good proportion of, of the budget will go to promote rabies awareness, prevention and responsible dog ownership. So this is more or less, I don't really want to get into the nitty gritty of the, of the strategy, but that is to give you a, an idea how this strategy looks like. And I will be very happy to come back in 2030 to this place. In fact, I will be happy to come back tomorrow if I, if I might, but I will be happy to come back in 2030 and show this expecting trend. This is just, of course, I made it just uh, for the sake of the presentation. But what we are expecting is the decrease of number of human deaths going parallel to the decrease of, of rabies case in dogs. So the strategy combined the two, the two approach, human health and veterinary uh, approach in, in one single strategy. We don't really want to differentiate activities because we believe they need to be together. Our goal, of course, is to reach <coughs> this little point where nobody, nowhere where they live, will die for rabies. Of course, we realize there will be virus will be there. We are not talking about eradicate rabies. We are realistic and we know rabies will stay with us for a little while. So after 2030, there will be a lot of work to be done to really break rabies transmission in dogs. But at least we will be sure that our goal of eliminating rabies has been achieved. But why? Why zero by 30? Again, that's extract from the global strategy. Well, what we want, we all want, not only the United Against Rabies collaboration, tripartite and GARC. What we want is to, that no one will suffer, will ever suffer in pain and die from this preventable disease. If we go back memories, we know cases of dramatic people that just pass away. And now as we are talking, we know there is families waiting for the relatives just to pass away because they know they got rabies and they will die. And this is a suffering not just for the victim, but just for the family and for the entire society. And this is what we want to achieve, avoid this, this suffer. We want to invest in rabies because it will strengthen health system. So it will not be only rabies that will eradicate. We will improve the health care of the countries. And we will improve equity and access to, access to health care and will contribute to the society for development. And we said the theme of the global, the global conference was Rabies elimination is feasible, and the time is actually now. We cannot wait any longer. Okay, <coughs> will be two, one, one minute. So what we are expecting, again, I think we, we took the challenge, not being easy, but we need to be all together. It's not only the international organization. What we are expecting from you is to be engaged with us, to be part of this collaboration, be united with us to eliminate rabies. We want you to help us to express the message and try to identify potential investor. We are sure in a remote area, in a village, there might be an industry that they probably have social responsibility and they can make a difference. Because this is the privilege of working in rabies, is that we can make a difference and leave a legacy. We all need to identify our role. Each of us, we got a role to play, and our responsibility is actually identify ourselves, stand up, and say, I want to be to fill this gap, and this is my responsibility. Based on what we are discussing, we need to design, implement, evaluate, and if necessary, we need to go back to our countries and amend our national strategy. We need to make sure that the national strategy is not only a paper, it's actually an action plan that will deliver. And of course, we don't want to leave anybody behind. This One Health approach model, Ravis is actually a model to demonstrate that working together we can achieve our common goal. But overall, 
what we are expecting is that you remain, we remain united against this disease. And with that, uh, I thank you for your attention and also invite my colleagues to comment from United Against Rabies collaboration if there is any, anything to add. Thank you very much.